okay can you guys hear and see me okay I hope you're all doing well. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing amazing. It's that time. We're doing a mask fam, and it looks like it's coming at the perfect time because the masculine energy just came out blocked. <laughs> oh my god, the emperor in the reverse. Like, hello. All right. So we all have masculine feminine energy all of us doesn't matter your gender it doesn't matter how you identify okay and we're supposed to and we're supposed to freely be able to access each of them i'm so passionate about this i work with it in my personals i talk to you guys about it all the time okay so we're gonna do a check-in all right we're gonna like we're gonna play therapy okay <laughs> and i'm gonna be like well what brings you here today and we'll interview your masculine and we'll interview your feminine and the goal is always unification all right we're not divorcing ourselves here all right because when we become whole and when we become in divine union with ourselves, what do you think that's gonna attract hello divine union outside of yourself you're welcome all right so that's what we're gonna be doing here okay um if you guys absolutely i know i'm here recording live on tiktok i will be uploading this to youtube so for those that are watching this on youtube later if you guys would leave your feedback i'd appreciate it okay i love you guys so much subscribe hit that like button all that good stuff masculine energy are you inspired it looks like you're kind of inspired here all right we have the world coming out all right with the knight of wands so i don't know if a lot of you are like this is mine i'm going after this okay like yeah there's a lot of excitement coming in we'll talk about it for sure okay i feel like masculine's just excited to like be invited i don't know what that means <laughs> we'll look we will look we will look you're definitely telling me like my feminine energy is healing um i've been burnt out for a long time i felt i don't know even like hopeless for a long time all right we'll see we'll see we'll see show me the feminine energy we're gonna talk about all this in depth okay Ooh, feminine's like i am i'm doing my thing i'm doing my thing some of you could be single parents all right fems feminine energy we need to chat okay again this is you so when i'm saying he when i'm saying she understand i'm still talking about you i'm just identifying which energy okay um so if i was your counselor right and i was like so what brings you in here today your masculine would be like well i want this to work i don't want to abandon myself i don't want to lose who i am i don't want to lose myself so we're off to a really good start there again there's a lot of like I'm gonna get this shit done type of an energy here okay let's take a deeper look wow empress hello yeah i want to give to my empress i want to learn about my empress i want to learn how to trust myself i want to learn how to allow myself to feel my way through a situation um a lot of you have been running on autopilot i see that and we'll talk about it in a moment and so you're just basically like this is time where i need to give to it okay libra cancer energy coming out here page of wands along with the six of wands yeah i want to be successful please and thanks so i love it your masculine's energy is in the good it's it's in a good place um i do think it might be a little bit impulsive like he's very like let's go do and it feels like your feminine's moving a little bit slower because she doesn't completely trust herself but let's look at it all right i want to use we'll use these all right queen of pentacles some of you might have earth in your chart there's a lot of earth energy starting off the reading okay let's see show me this queen of pentacles on the feminine side so if i was like what brings you in today mm, she'd be like we need a doctor yeah the empress in the reverse i'm blocked She's like, I'm not a part of this relationship. I'm just a secretary. Like, that's, I'm sorry, but that's like exactly what it is. It's like, I just work here. You know, I'm just, my job is to sit here and look pretty. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you something? Your feminine energy to your masculine is like, he thinks that he's including me. He's not. That's what you're telling yourself. So you think you're checking in with yourself, but it's more, it's still logical though. Like you're still logicking your way through this, which makes sense because even though this is a timeless reading, at the time of the recording, we're in fixed air season. Hello. There's this rush, okay? And that's what your feminine is saying. 
your feminine is very much like all about needing to be present, right? To be able to feel things like your masculine leads, your feminine guides, right? She needs a second to like gain her senses. And she feels very like, all right, let's go. Let's come into union here from your masculine. Okay, because remember, he's pulling the Empress and she's like, no, Empress reverse. That's a red light, babe. Okay, so we'll see. We have the chariot. Don't get me wrong. Her goal is to come together in union as well, but she needs a minute. Let's take a deeper look at that. What's the block? What's the block? She's like, the soil isn't ready. She's like, I'm not fertile. Okay. So there's something from the past or worries, fears, trauma that is being held on to that you need to look at. Your feminine energy is upset because you're basically pressuring yourself like, I should be over this. I should move on by now. Why am I still, um, I'm hearing harping over this, okay? Like some of you have some unresolved trauma from either a past relationship, childhood, whatever it is. And you're really hard on yourself here. And you're like, I just want to get through this. I just want to, you know, plant the garden. And your feminine energy is basically telling you, like, I've never allowed, been allowed to speak my piece about this. I've never actually felt my feelings. We keep just trying to bury it, okay? So let's look into the past energy then, shall we? Shall we, shall we? Okay, interesting. Abandonment wound is coming out hard, okay? Coming out so hard here in the past. So your masculine energy definitely is talking about walking away, avoidance, things like this. Hey, Gabby. Um, let me see. Let me see. What's up, Seven? King of Swords. Okay, can I tell you something so interesting, too, regarding the masculine feminine energy? Your masculine is like, oh, in the past, I was really in control. Like, I made all my decisions. It's like this accountability. I don't know if it's coming in as blame. I'll have to look at it, okay? This could be avoidance like we were seeing, but your feminine energy is coming in as like, again, I was left, you know? Show me the king of swords. Two of pentacles in the reverse, the queen of wands in the reverse, the emperor. There's that emperor in the reverse. Remember we saw this? In the beginning, if you guys were here, okay, on the live. Um, Aries energy, very strong there. So, yeah. <sighs> logically, you're able to take accountability. Or logically, you understand this was an unhealthy relationship. Some of you, you're telling me you were in an abusive relationship. Um, I gave my power away. Like, you, you understand this and your masculine understands this, okay? But your feminine still feels very unheard. So let's interview her for a moment, okay? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, because she's just like, I wasn't asked how I felt. It was like we found out the facts and we never processed. That's what it is. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Six of Cups in the reverse. Okay, you guys. This is a big deal. Your feminine energy is devastated. Like some of you went through a huge loss. This is like having like, I don't know. Like um, I'm going to throw some random examples out. Okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, right? But like moving around a lot, your parents divorced, losing a child, um, losing your home, like your whole family, like something horrible. You were stripped and your feminine energy is like the reason I exist, right? Unconditional love to receive, to give, to be in that energy was taken from me. I was robbed from being in my feminine. And some of you are telling me this has been since childhood. Like I've never known my feminine. I've never been allowed to speak my piece. Or feel my feelings. This is heavy energy. This is an inner belief system that just... Your feminine just like wasn't even trying. You know what I mean? Like why bother? You know? And your masculine, listen. Like your masculine was doing his thing, right? You're just trying to keep yourself safe. But this is absolutely giving survival mode. This is absolutely giving like low-key imposter syndrome like I still feel like a broken child walking around living life you know 
but I'm just trying to do with the best thing. Um, you're very much telling me in your energy, like I've always tried to be a good person. I've always tried to do the right thing. I was always doing my best with what I had, you know? So that's good. And you should give yourself a lot of compassion for that. Let's talk about the current energy. Okay. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Absolutely. I'm sending you a lot of love. Two of swords in the reverse for our masculine energy. So, sorry, my eye roll. I couldn't hold it back. <laughs> I could not hold back. And this is all of us. Again, this is not about gender. Okay, this is our masculine freaking energy. Oh my goodness. The definition of we're not alone, huh? Yeah. Okay. Your masculine energy is, you know, if you've been with me, you know that I can't stand this. But it's like, it is what it is. Again, you're trying to logic this away and it's for self-preservation, you know? So let's look into this a little bit deeper here on your masculine side, okay? High Priestess, which is so stinking freaking interesting. Every time, can I tell you, every time, hi, Christina, every time your masculine energy says something, your feminine's like, nah, -uh. like, I'm not even kidding. Like, your masculine is like, yeah, well, I'm going to trust my gut on this one. Okay. High priestess, Pisces energy. Your current energy for your feminine is high priestess in the reverse. Okay. Crazy. I decided to do a mask fem girl wild so where your masculine thinks that we're feeling our feelings and my gut is telling me this and this is the direction i should go it's not it's a trauma response okay it's um your brain keeping you safe and that's the job of the brain okay so high five to your brain but yeah your feminine energy is gonna have to say her piece in a moment okay i really am getting like an angry feminine and that might be why it's hard like a lot of you might have like repressed anger Okay, um, which is really just grief. Anger can be very beneficial. Can we not forget that as well? Okay, it can be a beautiful catalyst to make change, right? Okay, but you're, oh, oh, no. Mm -mm. Hold on, I have to decline this. If you watch the reading back, you'll see what happens. <laughs> That's what's always popping up when I'm doing readings. I'm like, mm -mm. sometimes I hit yes, because it's funny. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Um, you're telling me my intuition tells me to not focus on the past uh this is also a very personal reading where I'm focusing on energies within but I'm also getting an outside energy where a lot of you are telling me you don't trust anyone okay like partners yes but like friends even you know, like everyone leaves type of an energy, okay? Um, bread crummy type of stuff, all right? Yeah. So your masculine energy, that's the thing. Your masculine energy thinks that he's working with the feminine and she's just like, I just let him think that, like whatever. <laughs> I show up. Okay, let me see, hold on. So our feminine energy, yeah. Our feminine energy is the high priestess in the reverse. So we are blocked, your feminine's like, that's trauma, babe. That's not how I really feel. Because remember, our feminine in our unconditional, unwounded place and the purest part of you, okay, is all about love. It's all about unconditional love, light, being in your receiving energy, giving that back, mirroring that back. Okay, so she's angry that she can't do that because you're still trying to protect her. And she's like, why am I not allowed to be strong? You know what I'm saying? There's something about that. Like, why am I not allowed to be trusted? And it's all stemming back from some type of trauma, unresolved trauma, you know, because again, your masculine is just trying to protect you. He's like, because that broke your heart in the past. And we never should have, you know, let our guard down like that. It's like, you know, so you guys are kind of like bickering, if that makes sense. Um, like a self for self conflict, you know. 
So show me this High Priestess in the reverse, please, Spirit. The Hierophant. And this is all you know. This is all you know. I'm telling you, I feel like the group of people that I'm reading for have felt this way since childhood. Like, they were born into survival mode, you know? Taurus energy, very strong. And I feel like part of you like kind of senses, well, well you definitely do. You no, know, there's awareness here. I shouldn't say kind of, you do sense, you know that you're closed off, but you excuse it because you're like, well, I'd rather be safe than wind up in pain or in danger. Mm, confirmation, so glad to hear that you're writing, ma'am. Okay, let me see. Nine of Swords in the reverse, the Page of Wands in the reverse, in the same token, okay? I'm definitely getting yin-yang, which makes sense. Makes sense for this reading, hello. Um, your feminine energy really thinks that when you let it all go, when you forget about, I don't wanna say forget, maybe release, okay? your past or your story when you connect with source because i'm talking to a group of people that are very very gifted or tapped in like naturally intuitive you've just been taught that you can't trust it you're like i'm safe the divine always has my back like i always i always really know like i knew i wasn't safe there even if i like you know i couldn't change my circumstances or i chose to look the other way it's like i i always knew you know hey jesse yeah and i just feel like your masculine energy is like kind of being sorry but like a dick yeah and he's just like i don't want to hear it we're not doing that you know what I'm saying? So let's look at how these see each other, okay? Your masculine energy views your feminine as like, you're still healing. I don't know why I'm getting like sleeping beauty out of this. Like, I don't know. Are you gonna like kiss yourself awake or something? I don't know. It's very sleeping beauty, you know? Interesting. Let's keep looking. I've lost my deck. The masculine doesn't want to talk about it. What the F bomb? You guys. What the fuck? I lost the deck I was using. What do I do? Use a different one, I guess. What the F? Your masculine. She, he's like, she's resting. She's unreachable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can't talk to her. Oh my God. She's on vacation. She's sleeping. Yeah, you are very protective of yourself. It's actually very sweet, but you don't need to be. Yeah, you, this is like, if you could lock yourself up forever, you know, but you're, you're so tired living this way. This is all you know. You're like, I'm safest when I'm resting, when I'm healing. Some of you are using or have used like, um, I'm still healing as a way to keep people out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oops, <laughs> whoopsie, hermit in the reverse, yeah, oh, you're belittling yourself, I don't think you mean to, I don't think you mean to, but you are belittling, belittling yourself in the sense of like, she doesn't know any better, you know what I mean, Virgo energy here with the hermit in the reverse, she, she doesn't know what she's saying, I've got this. Can I see the hermit in the reverse, please? Oh, <laughs> judgment. Give her a chance, man. Give her a chance. You don't, this is, this is where we need to heal, if anything, okay? You want to heal? Heal your conditioned belief system because you doubt yourself. You're telling me I'm good on my own. I'm good with like arm's length. When I start showing people empathy and unconditional love. <laughs> I'm hearing, they got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see how your feminine's feeling about your masculine. It's, it's the wheel of fortune in the reverse, which by the way, it took me three layers to get to judgment here on the masculine, but it is your feminine's advice. So we'll talk about it. Oh my gosh. I feel like some of you may need to like rewatch this. Like 
I don't know. Have you ever like done that? Like you've had to like reread something twice to like really grasp what it's saying. Okay, so again, if everything goes well, this should be up on YouTube like tomorrow. Okay, show me the Wheel of Fortune. Good things are happening. I'm telling you. You really, okay, here's the, here's the thing. Your feminine energy admires your masculine energy a lot. A lot because you do know how to keep yourself safe. You've proved that. She's like, isn't that proof that we'll walk away if there's a red flag? If I tell my masculine energy we're not safe, he's gonna go. I just need him to listen. I just need him to trust me that I'm gonna say it. You know, like um, you have empathy, but you also have boundaries, you know? That's my birthday, November 14th. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> caught my eye all uh, right let's see oh what in the judgment king of cups in the reverse and that's what it is wheel of fortune oh my god so we have double wheel of fortune triple judgment okay but double wheel of fortune right now in the feminine's energy and king of cups in the reverse This is very much not to make it all Disney princess. I'm sure that's not going to help our masculine energy, but like, it's very like, do you trust me? You know what I mean? And like, you're like, yes. <laughs> like, it's like that. Elite. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> High priestess. That's what I'm saying. Your feminine is basically like, I've done the work. I sat. I've sat with it. I understand. I've taken enough time to like sit out on life and observe. I'm very much getting like a bird's eye view, you know? So pay attention to the birds. They might be chatting to you. Okay. This is deep. Your feminine is so deep. And I really feel like she's assuring your masculine, like, I promise I won't lie to myself. You know, I really feel like you're telling me, like I lied to myself. And this was either like you were a child and you didn't know better you know, like you may have thought somebody wasn't safe or it wasn't right or knew something was wrong, but child mindset, right? Like your brain wasn't developed is really what I'm getting. Or you were in love. It was a past connection. And in that sense, guess what? You were not wrong to be attracted to this. You were supposed to go through that. You've lived and you've learned. Congratulations. You have wisdom. You know, you're well seasoned. It's fine. I'm going to pull on this judgment in a moment, but I want to pull on the double wheel of fortune. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wild, right? The emperor in the reverse, right? Right. It's you not being attracted to abusive, narcissistic gaslighting yeah this is a father wound a masculine wound you know what i mean here's what i know you're ready to show yourself compassion for keeping yourself safe for all these years for keeping yourself distant but can you show compassion to your feminine energy for loving for being the way you are can you allow yourself to be free because you have a beautiful heart and i feel like the way you love is the definition of divinity. Probably why you're here. The world needs it. We've been locking it up. You know? Yeah, eight of swords in the reverse. You know. You're not going to pretend like you can't see this anymore. I'm helpless. Like some of you, trigger warning, I can say this to this group of people, may have played like victim in the past or something to make it easier or something for yourself to not have to look at the red flags because you loved somebody because you were, you know the difference between transactional love where you have to perform, where you have to do, where you have to um, whatever, provide, right? And unconditional. It's loving without attachment. It's loving without strings. Okay. Let me look at your feminine's advice because it is judgment. I want to break that down. Let's see here. Yeah. Judgment, judgment, judgment. Let me see judgment. 
very scorpionic energy. Mm-hmm. So it looks like there's a situation outside of yourself that you have a test with right now to prove to yourself you can trust yourself. It looks like something or someone is a red flag. Because you can do this now. And it looks like it's like stop walking in that direction or stop giving to that. Um, this could be anything from a toxic relationship. Going back to the past is really, yeah, the hangman, the reverse, bird's eye view. You understand something. You can free yourself now. So which path are you choosing? You know, because again, your, your feminine energy, while she's lived and she's learned, she's also been operating in this place of like nostalgia. It, it feels almost out of like boredom, you know? Like, okay, this is so weird, but I actually saw, I was scrolling earlier, and I saw, like, this video of, like, whales in captivity, and, like, how they'll, like, bang their, like, head against the glass when they're bored. Like, that's your feminine energy being held in captivity, and she's just bored. So it's, like, you get into chaos, or you go back to the past, because it's, like, what is in front of me? I'm being stunted, you know? Yeah, so spirit is literally like, it's time to walk your walk. Repeating eights, a lot of eights, which is awesome. It's my favorite angel number. Um, your masculine's advice is to come into wholeness. Yeah, swallow your ego, swallow your pride. It's also like, instead of I have to, I get to, like changing your mindset here, okay? Being excited about living differently being excited about the new vibe, if that makes sense, okay? Devil in reverse, living in detachment, I told you. Capricorn energy. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, being okay with learning. I just did. Oh my god. Was it the TikTok I just posted? I can't remember. I think so. It was either the TikTok I just posted or it was the message I started giving right before I started recording this video where I was like, be okay with learning. I'm pretty sure it was the TikTok I just posted. But yeah, it's like, be okay with learning how to do something different. You know? Okay, let me get you just some general advice, okay, as a whole, all right, as your energy as a whole. If you guys missed this reading, highly suggest you check it out. I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel, so it'll be up probably like tomorrow, so subscribe over there. Okay, advice for the collective, please. And then those on YouTube that are watching this back, again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you'd like a personal, you can check out my website, silhouettero.com. High priestess in the reverse. So we saw that it was in your current energy. Don't, don't you be lying to yourself and fibbing to yourself, telling you that that dusty ex or that crappy person, okay, that, that condescending friend, all right, that shitty family member, yeah can be around you. Ace of Swords in the reverse. You guys, it's really like not a joke. Um, King of Cups in the reverse. This is also stop living so disconnected and let people in. Yeah, a little bit, nothing drastic. You know, you open up a little bit. Does it feel right to you? Check in with yourself. Let your masculine know. Is he going forward or is he taking a step back? Okay, but no more living cut off. That's really beautiful, honestly. Okay, so I really hope that helped. TikTok, hold on one second. YouTube, love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you on the next one. Bye.